See, I get that. Whoever this name, A Verb, whatever, I get him too. He clout chaser. What's good, Charles Anthony? We back with another one, man. We got whack commenting on battle rap. A Verb went at him on Twitter Spaces, saying, "Why would whack be commenting on something he's not familiar with?" When T Top popped on last week, that's on the channel as well. Let's hear Wax's response. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. Let's get it. Like, when I go stream a song, I'm like, I'm thinking different. And this is the box they in. Like, this is why I was like, some of you need to come out as mainstream artists, dumb that down, make a few songs get that fan base and then be like can you imagine let me give it to you that's gonna uh, be a cult they can't make no real uh, music though little baby hey, right hey, let's watch this little baby. Baby. Let's hey y'all stop coming off the mic let whack talk Look, let's take little baby right how little baby came out and little baby from the battle rap crazy that'll sell out you see what i'm saying but he still got his mainstream going because that's how he introduced himself to the people because it's obvious when you come out battle rapping, he is they put them in the box like they don't let them in. So come out mainstream, get that going, and then cross the street. You chilling with the answer? Do you think one of the things that hurt battle rap was them getting away from rapping to the beat like they used to? I mean, I don't. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, you know, it's a that's an art. That's an art. Bro. 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 Yeah. You know, you, you know, you storytelling and disrespecting and 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 being slick with words and tongue. For, that's an art to that, shit, bro. Because you got to say some. You can't just get up there and rap a song. You got to say some shit about that person in front of you. Well, nigga, not as far as rap a Ooh. song. Ra well, not as far as rap a song, but like you figure Eminem, Jay Z, DMX, all of them was battle rapping back in the day, but it was always a beat on. You know what I'm saying? And it's somehow, I don't know, like early 2000s, maybe, uh, it that's started getting smack, popular. Smack, no, that's because it was more like freestyle back then. The battle rap today is like a wax fan. It's like you talking directly about the person in front of you. You're scheming about him. You're bringing up his cars. You got to entertain the crowd. Where back then, DMX and Jay, they could spit a verse. They could spit in a song. And it's just a freestyle. So it's battle rap is more aggression. You know, <laughs> it's more pointer. It's not just, you know, so it's a different element than what it was back in the day. And one thing I'll say is, uh, Smack, he not, he not letting, he not letting battle rappers go. Like, he, he putting them on, like, a yearly budget. Like, sur like Surf having four or five battles a year, Smack know he gonna pay him 200000 a year. And when them labels try to give him, like, extra money or the labels try to let Surf take his music to a whole new level, Smack just offered him different positions in the caffeine circle. Right, that's a fact. That's a fact right there. Real quick, we gotta keep in mind, those contracts that Smack got, man, I think some of them is like early record industry hip hop type contracts. So I don't even know if there's clauses or allowances in there or whatever in terms of the ideas that you're gonna hear coming up here in terms of setting up like uh, Battle Royale or a house and all that. Them contracts is a little bit sticky, but uh, let's get back to the conversation and see what's going on. Hey Wax, so you talking about you talking about reaching out to Smack? Would you would you do something with him like uh like Snoop did? No, I with Smack. I, I, no, I know him. I got the number in my phone. I, I respect Smack. I respect what he do. All that. No, I'm talking about the See, I get that. Whoever this name, A Verb, whatever, I get him too. He clout chaser. I was just gonna say, A Verb. A Verb used to be hard. A Verb lately has been a nobody. You know what he gonna do next? He gonna put me in the battle rap. I hope he do too. I ain't been in nobody battle rap. He definitely is. He definitely <laughs> yeah. is. But like, hey, like, like I said, at the same time, a verb used to be nice, but he, he's been trash lately. If you know what I mean. Like, what's the best battle rap you done watched, Wack? Uh, you know what? It was a fat black the jersey. Shaq really liked it. Uh, shotgun shoe. Yeah, that crazy. I don't know who he was going to get, but it was him. I remember he said some crazy. I just be listening to what they saying, and it amazes me that these people start fighting. I be waiting for the fight to happen. I'm like, oh, this shit. Yeah, start they be saying some wow. Casting is prime. It's crazy. Hey, but what, what I was asking? Was, yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Who Casting is prime. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Who Casting is prime. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Who Casting is prime. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Who Casting is prime. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Who Casting is prime. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Who Casting is
Cassidy and his prime. Hey, way back, yeah. But man, on, hey, man. just stop, man. Right, you I'm don't talking know. about when he went in the building. Nah, nah. Back then, yeah, that was a long time ago, bro. That's only that was like in. The hey, wait, game. hold up, man. Y'all can't do Cassidy like that, man. Hey, no, nah, he. Cassidy he was, is a legend, he, he was bro. The go at one time. Y'all yeah, said Cassidy punch, a legend. We can't forget about by punch. Hitman Holla. Cassidy beat Hitman. He beat Hitman. He beat so. Hitman. Right. Fat. Yeah, he for what sure beat Hitman. About? Nah, Cassidy for sure lost that battle, fellas. No, he for no, sure he did. No, he did. did. No, he did. No, he did. Definitely beat Cassidy. Definitely he beat him. Definitely well. us, but he beat uh, Hitman. Yeah, Facts. Hey, Cassidy beat that man in in the face off. All that went. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I was asking, uh, you know how Snoop Dogg teamed up with Smack and, you know, put rappers in the house. Is that something you're looking to do or you just want to educate him on how he can make nah, it? Nah, we were going to do it. Me, me and um, I was setting it up like eight months ago, nine months ago. Me and Geechee Gotti was going to do it. I had the house, the network, and all that got off of it. Um, we was going to do it. I had the house in Hollywood. I had the network that was going to do it. Me and Geechee was going to put it together. He got the battle rappers for me. I just got off, got to do another um, hit, hit but man. it always worked. I don't know why they stopped the one they was doing in New York. No, yeah, hey, hey, is that something you looking to revisit soon? No, bro. I already got this, bro. I'm trying to tell you, I already got to do it. Like, like I just got to get, just get on it. Me and Geechee was putting it together. He had sent me the list that uh, the, we wanted in the house. I had the judges. I had the spot, twelve bedroom spot up here in Hollywood. Um, the whole shot. I just got off of it. You got to hit, bro, and put it together. There it is, y'all. If y'all know Averb, shh, you know he clapping back. Him and Easy got the podcast going now. What is it, Easy and Veezy? Pretty entertaining. Check them out. But you know they're going to come back with some commentary on this one. And we'll see if Wack could pull off the whole everybody in the house. I hope that come through with Geechee Gotti because that thing Eminem did a few years back was pretty popping. So, anyway, it's your boy to answer. We out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the support. We gone.